Good morning, 47. Your destination is the Himapan Luxury Hotel Resort on the Chao Phraya River, just outside Bangkok. Your main target is Jordan Cross, the lead singer of The Class, a renowned indie rock outfit recording their highly anticipated sophomore album. But this millennial poster boy harbors a dark secret. One year ago, promising young actress Hannah Highmore fell to her death from Cross's penthouse loft in Dumbo, New York. According to the police, Miss Highmore's death was a tragic accident, but her parents remain unconvinced. They firmly believe that Cross murdered Hannah and only escaped justice due to the power and influence of his father, billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross. A secondary target, Ken Morgan, corporate fixer and attorney to the Cross family, is also staying at the hotel. Cunning and unscrupulous, Morgan was a key agent in the cover-up of Hannah Highmore's murder and Jordan Cross's subsequent acquittal. The Highmores understandably want retribution, and while the system may be powerless, ICA is anything but. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Bangkok 47. Ken Morgan has booked the Queen Suite, but has yet to check in. You will find him in and around the restaurant. Oddly enough, Jordan Cross seems completely unaware of his presence. Cross and the class have set up a recording studio in the Emperor's Suite on the third floor. Private security around Cross and his entourage is highly capable. Still, I'm sure you can find your way into his inner circle. After all, today is Jordan Cross's 27th birthday. The age when rock stars die. Good luck, 47. Huh? Hey, you're, uh, you're not just gonna leave that there, are you? Wes, I have that Branson MD2 mic you ordered. Sweet. Um, Swap it for the one in the booth, yeah? Can't wait to test this baby out. I'm back. Let's do this. Hey? Uh, Wes bought a Branson MD2? Yep. Also known as Old Sparky. Anyone from the record company who entered before the mix was just right. Yeah, well, still, I mean, to, to risk what do you think, Wes? life for a particular right direction? Mm -hmm. Sorry, Hardy, I wasn't paying attention. Some static. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, he's fixed now. Keep playing. Okay. Anyway, it's safe enough when you know how to handle Ready? I'm running. Colder. Nicely done, 47. With a little more adjustment, this should make for an electrifying performance. Hey, can someone get Jordan in here? This is right up his alley. Down. Next up, Ken Morgan.
sir. on his radar. Hi there. Uh, yes, is everything to your satisfaction? If you need anything, please talk to the staff. Ups, especially not with young Master Cross yeah, on his yeah. way down. Big if any of those toxins get into the ventilation system, you could gas the whole atrium. Understood, ma'am. An obscene amount of money. I just gotta get the engine running. I guess. Once yes, hello, you this is the manager. The I am God. so sorry <laughs> to disturb... Oh, Pure indeed, price. yes, the pest Biggest exterminator. Uh, he needs to inspect the, the Emperor's suite now. Could I possibly ask you and your team to... Club or whatever. Oh. <laughs> Excellent, guest, thank you. Please join us in the atrium party. for refreshments. <laughs> I promise it won't take long. Well, okay, bye, thank you. Good thinking, 47. I dare say the possibilities are in. This. Excellent work, 37. 
And now, the moment of truth. She always suspected. Why? Why was it just playing? What would be the purpose? What would play? Blackmail. Some sick game. What if I just smashed it right now? Did they throw copies or did they... Who are you? That's not the right question. I must. Whatever they're paying you, I will double it, okay? It doesn't work that way. Not here. So wait, 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 wait. I didn't mean to, you know? I was drunk. I, I snapped. At the window, I didn't think... But it happened. So, do I deserve to die because I made some stupid mistake? Or because I tried to get away with it? Either way, it won't make a difference. Target down. Next up, Ken Morgan. Jordan Cross's birthday, and manager Dexy Barrett has prepared a small surprise party for him. The kitchen has baked a special vegan cake to suit his rock star tastes, and the only thing missing is a cake topper with the number 27. I suggest you speed things along, 47. Could be the break we need. First it was high carb, low fat. Then it was high fat, low carb. And now sugar is just evil in carb. Good. Cross will be here shortly, and I dare say he's in for a surprise. Yo! Hey, wait a minute. Hey, that's yours, isn't it? Oh, vegan, huh? All right. You guys went through a lot of trouble, huh? <laughs> oh, no, 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 it wasn't us. Your father ordered it. My father? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was real particular. I mean, everything had to be just right for his son's big day, huh? Oh, did he now? Yes, you are the man. <laughs> that is Jordan Cross, revered and reviled in equal measures. Do I know you? Oh, hey, you're Quentin's replacement, right? Abel De Silva. Thanks for coming out, Abe. Follow me. Everyone, this is Abel De Silva. Here to take over for Quentin. Uh, drums all set up, Wes? Good to go. Cool. So, what do you say, man? Get behind the kit, show us what you made of. machine, aren't you? Oh, man. Nicely done. Why don't you walk with me, Abe? 
There's something I want to show you. After you. 47. I like your style. It's very tight, very new way. You, uh, you should talk to Dexy when we get back to New York. Uh, who's rubbing you? Small agency. Very low profile. You wouldn't have heard of them. <laughs> Old buddies from school, huh? Don't have the heart to let them go? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. But believe me, man, you gotta aim higher. Anyway, so I have this project coming up. Yeah? I think it's right up your alley. Going solo? Yeah, that's the plan. I could use a solid drummer. A hired gun, not a partner. Someone who does the job without getting noticed. Oh. So you're interested? It's what I do. Great, yeah. Oh, mull it over. Talk to your people if you have any. You can decide when we get back to New York. Good talking to you, Abe. Target down. Next up, Ken Morgan. Your son's manager, this Dexy Barrett. Anything I should know? Not a problem. I know the type. No, no, we'll meet on the QT. We don't want Jordan to know I'm here. He might throw a fit and sway Miss Barrett from doing the smart thing. Think nothing of it. Some things need to be handled in person. It is only the semi-finals, after all. I will call you from the airport. Only the semi-finals. Mr. Morgan, sir. When can I have my suite? Please accept my heartfelt apology for the mishap earlier. The Queen suite is ready for you. Follow me. Well, that was relatively fast. Very well. Lead the way. Here we are. I trust everything is to your liking. Hmm. You know, there's cake in the staff room. A definite improvement. Hardly the Bourge en Arabe. Let's take a closer look. Ah, uh, see there? A smear. As expected. But take care of it, please. So sloppy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Covered in dust. I dare say this so-called cleaning was rather superficial, wasn't it? Go on. Rectify. Hmm. A soda can? Oh, get rid of that. Oh, mm -hmm. Stays. Excellently done, 47. Why am I not Let's make surprised. Morgan feel right at home. I know what to do. Scene of the crime. Hmm. Ground zero. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Mm hmm. Whoa! Oh. Target down. Now on to Jordan Cross. Look, you want me to deliver it? Deliver what, mate? The letter, Neil. 
The one Dexy Barrett told you to take down to reception three hours ago? Oh, right. <laughs> no, I'm just comatose today. No, no, I'm good, thanks. I'll pop down in a moment. Yeah, so you keep saying. What do you care? Dexy Barrett is Jordan's manager. He's not the boss of us. Who's in all four, anyway? She didn't say. But he's staying in the Queen Suite, so I figure he's someone important. All the more reason. So, Dexy Barrett sends a message to the occupant of the Queen Suite, aka Ken Morgan. This must be the reason for Morgan's surprise visit. Sounds promising. Clearly, Barrett doesn't want her client Jordan Cross to know about Morgan's presence, so whatever business the two have, they're likely to do it in secret. I suggest you intercept that message, 47. Could be a chance to catch Morgan off guard. Did you get clean? I found this on the stairs. You might not do it. Says that. Queen Sweet on the envelope. I see. Very well, I'll take care of it. Any messages for me? Let me check. Um, yes, Mr. Morgan. A letter was only just delivered. Here you are, sir. Oh, finally. Basement linen room. Call me when you get there. Dexy Barrett. Well done, 47. Morgan is on the move, and we know meet. exactly where he Dexie is headed. Dexy Barrett finally gave word. We're meeting at the linen room. The linen room. Sex. Mm. Welcome to the exciting world of corporate underhand dealings. This must be the place. It, wait outside, Otis. Uh, negotiations are best done on equal terms. If you think that's best, sir. Target down. Now on to Jordan Cross. Well, you're no quitter. I've got to give you that. Look, I can fix this. I'm homing in on the problem. I just gotta... Damn it! Yeah. Are you sure you don't want a ride home? It's not about that. There's this guest. Big shot lawyer fella up in the Queen Suite. He's offered to buy it. This, this piece of crap for like an obscene amount of money. I just gotta get the engine running. A guest wants to buy you. According to the hotel gardener, Ken Morgan wants to purchase his aging tuk-tuk as a souvenir. Unfortunately for him, he can't get the engine working. Well. You're good at fixing things, 47. I suggest you give the gardener a helping hand. This could be excellent bait. <laughs> Tourists, right? <laughs> they just love authenticity. Good show, 47. It's time to close the deal. Um... Uh, excuse me, Mr. Morgan, sir? Yes? Ah, the tuk-tuk fellow. Did you manage to fix the engine? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> she spins like a kitten. All right. Lead the way. All right, uh, there she is. Uh, uh, go ahead, Mr. Morgan. Uh, 
Please, uh, you do the honors.